Today we have a story about adults reacting to video games. A stand up on Senior Survey. And a new segment of Seaman Reacts to Coachella. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform. Finding character. And giving others a voice. This is SVTV. Hey, Vikes, I'm Ethan. And I'm Cody, and this is SVTV. We know what us teens think about video games, but what about the adults? Let's delve into the minds of the adults to find out more. Ever since the release of Pong on the Atari back in 1972, video games have always been a big hit with ages all alike. But with the young ones enjoying the likes of Fortnite and Smash Brothers, what did the adults enjoy back then, and what are their thoughts now? Uh, my favorite game of all time is a game called Final Fantasy Tactics. It's a kind of a traditional JRPG. Yeah, um, Pac-Man and uh, Galaga were my, were, were my favorites. Well, of all time, I think I liked the Ezio series of Assassin's Creed. Um, I just, I really liked his character a lot. There are studies of video games actually developing and enhancing certain skill sets when playing them. This usually includes improved hand-eye coordination, enhanced memory, and improved social skills when playing with people online. Yeah, a lot of games allow you to make decisions and try new things out in a um, pretty good environment. If you fail, you can always try again, you know, get better, learn from your mistakes. From a, a physical point of view, yeah, I, I do think it probably helps a lot with hand-eye coordination. Um, from sort of a, a mental point of view, I think maybe playing a lot of video games can probably take away from certain aspects of learning. But um, all in all, I don't, I don't think they're a bad thing, necessarily. But with video games increasing in the realistic value, is that also affecting the thoughts and actions of people who play them? Or is there no connection between video games and violence? Yeah, and they, 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 they blame that all the time. Um, First-person shooter games uh, do have increased violence, but it's it's not it's not real violence. I don't think that that leads people to go out and commit mass shootings. Uh, no more than in the '50s, rock and roll um, created the sexual revolution. With video games becoming more technological advanced, will they continue to help our skills grow, or will the controversies overshadow them? Only time will tell. Cody Kaiser, SVTV. Um, yeah, quit playing Fortnite. That game's stupid. My thoughts exactly, Mr. Coon. What about you, Ethan? I think it only has benefits. Now for your daily news. The last day for driver's ed enrollment is on May 7th. You can enroll through the high school website or contact Mr. Tinsley. The Interact Car Show will be held in the South Parking Lot on the high school on Saturday, April 27th from 1 to 3 p.m. Please see Mr. Collins or Ms. Miller for a registration form. The cost is $15 for early registration or $20 of the day of the show. Any student interested in joining the Writing Center staff for next year must fill out application on our website. All application forms must be returned to Mrs. Sands in W6 by 3.05 p.m. by May 1st. The North Nook will be open during all fifth hour lunches tomorrow. Plan on making a visit to see the latest deals. Seniors, there is a survey you need to fill out. Allie went to talk to Alexander to learn more. Hey Vikes, I'm here with Alex to talk about the senior survey. So what is it? Okay, we, have, we went into all government classes to um, talk to you about the last few things that you need to know before you're out of here on the 16th, which is coming up three weeks from Thursday. And so we really want, need everybody to fill out the senior survey so we know where you're going, what you're doing, where the, um, your transcript needs to be sent, and um, most importantly is what scholarships you've won because we don't know what scholarships you won unless you tell us, and then that goes in an insert into graduation um, program. So if you could get that done, we have currently we still have 90 seniors that haven't filled out the senior survey. So um, you find that in your government, Schoology. If you go to Schoology and go into your government classes, then it's been posted there by your teachers. So please get that filled out. Or Mrs. Wink will hunt you down and get it done. Seniors, make sure and fill it out. Now back to your anchors. 
you have three weeks to fill it out to make sure and do it. Cell Choir auditions will be Thursday, May 2nd, beginning at 3.30. Clinics are 3.30 to 5.30 on April 30th and May 1st, and an extra clinic on Wednesday during seminar. Now to see what sports are in action tonight with Ethan. Mr. Elliott is training and preparing to run with the Bulls. Run, Coach Elliott, run! If you want an official Mr. Elliott Run with the Bulls t-shirt, order yours at lunch. The cost is $15. All proceeds go to the wrestling team. Hey you. Yes you. Do you like cars? Whoa, watch out there old sport. Well, we have a surprise for you. The Interact Club is hosting a car show Saturday, April 27th from 1pm to 3pm. It's $15 for an early registration or $20 at the door. Admission is free to the general public. See Mr. Collins for a registration form. We'll be waiting for you there. While you guys are out playing sports, I'm in here stealing all your stuff. If your locker isn't locked, I will find it. I will steal your wallet, your possession, your livelihood. I am the locker room thief. If your locker isn't locked, I will find it. Baseball and softball are in action tonight against Topeka West. The boys will play at home at four and girls are playing at the 501 Sports Park at four as well. Girls swim and dive are in action tonight at the 501 Auditorium at 1.30. And boys tennis at home is playing at one, 3 o'clock. Make sure to support your bikes tonight. Boys soccer will have a meeting Friday, April 26th, right after school in room W15. Anyone interested in playing soccer next year is welcome. Now we're the Joss to see if it's going to rain today. Good afternoon to you. I want to start off with a quick meteorological lesson on this thing that's called a skew T log P. Basically what we're looking at here is the separation between the green and red lines in the mid levels of the atmosphere. That is a sign of some dry air and what that means for today's rain chance is that it's much lower because of that. So in general when the dew point is less than the temperature Measurable precipitation is very unlikely. So while it may look like it's going to rain all day today, I'm not expecting any more than maybe a few sprinkles or some drizzle. Measurable precipitation is not expected for today. Now moving forward today is pretty on the cool side in the lower 60s for highs. But through the next several days, we start to get some warmer area from the western U.S. to spread our way. And that's going to lead to several days with highs in the 70s. And Friday night, we introduce a rain chance across far northeastern Kansas. Just some scattered showers. So we're not really thinking a whole lot of thunder with this activity. But where we could see some thunderstorms is coming up next Monday. That's our next big chance for some rain. But yeah, you can see... Cooler weather today is gone by tomorrow with highs in the 70s Wednesday through Saturday before those storms roll in next Monday. Now, Ethan Cody, back to you. Thanks for the update, Josh. Did you see any outfits from Coachella? No, I was too busy playing video games to care. <laughs> well, let's go see what other people thought about them. I don't think there's nothing really wrong with it. He did not go off on this one. Like, he's super casual. Seven. I give it a six. It's kind of boring. I give it a five. Um, solid four. Her shirt's kind of weird. The outfit's not bad. It's a nice, glowy Coachella look. All right, I'll give that one a seven. Five. I'd give it like a six, probably. Yeah, seven. I mean, it's not too extravagant. I kind of want a little more pop. <laughs> she looks like Michael Jackson. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. The picture of her. I'm sorry. 
four. Yeah, I'll give that like a three. I don't know. <laughs> like seven. <laughs> She looks like a Dallas cowgirl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I like that. Yes. Yeah. I don't like the boots though. I'll give it a seven. Six. I'd give that a ten. I ten. like that. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's awful. I don't like those pants. They're literally wearing pants in a tank top. <laughs> I'll give it a Louis Vuitton belt, so six. I don't like that. I'd give that like a two. Four. They're cute though. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. He's got the horses in the back. Two. Okay, that zero. Those jean shorts. Are really, <laughs> those are zero. so bad. <laughs> this is zero. I give that a 10 because you wouldn't expect James Charles to dress up as a cowboy. Um, rate 10. Terrible. This I don't know. James Charles one is the worst. I don't know why you'd walk By out. By far. Of, why would you walk out of the house like that? I hate how like people like only like the main thing that people care about for Coachella is like the outfits. The and pictures. I think yeah, and I think that the main focus on Coachella should be mm. having a great time. The music, what yeah. it's for, the what vibe. it's all about. Those outfits were kind of boring, but that's none of my business. That's all we have for today, Vikes. Tomorrow, we have a new segment of What's Trending, Common Knowledge, and a story on Wi-Fi. See you next time.